Perfect. The next should be where the guy is. We sell it soon. And yep, there's some other crystal. The core. Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? souls were sullied with the stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid, just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself a crime deserving of death. You're right. I am a monster, and my soul is stained black, though not by ether, but by the evil of men like you, who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more, nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Does the beast bare its teeth at its master? Come then, dominant. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster! And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice! But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me! Kill them. <laughs> <laughs>
not I do it? Well, then transform, but to make this quick. At least we start prime with the flame, apparently. I wonder what Joshua's doing here, though. Area attack, should have realized. Put it on. I thought it'd be a neat, neat thing, but I, I, I do think it's very neat, though. This liquid flame creature does have various forms, actually. That is interesting. This is actually the first high potion I've used all fight against this thing so far. Which is also very crazy. Flames rebirth here. Ignition. Gouge. Hour, what in the world is this? Some kind of final. Uh, 
trying to hurry and frenzy its attack down. As long as I can keep up the onslaught. I think we'll be good. I'd stagger it one more time, it'd be a certain. Screw it. Wow, that took it down. Really? It's kind of an awesome ending screen. <laughs> Book of Flame. Flame Trap Mid-Dance, both ethereal and corporeal. Fluting and enduring, but very much alive. this Clive Blessing of the crystals go with you. It's over. It is. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Damn it. 
We need to leave. Agreed. Now you keep yours. This way, Your Grace. <coughs> You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will... Uh, I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please. Save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well, if you're sure. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did? I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. Why now, after five years of silence? I cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Your Grace. No, do not dirty your hands. Look at them all, like a river flowing to the sea. Or moths to a flame, perhaps, the crystalline dominion their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary, while others lose their fortunes to the Dalmechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. What is it that you seek? In the Dominion, Your Grace. Oh, Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Brec? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply Bahamut. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are confident that he will listen to what you have to say? Our world lurches ever closer to the abyss, and a hidden hand ushers us onward. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sandbrek included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals and yet how spoiled, like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, 
The bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, <coughs> let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yota. Armies attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on Lane Night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut and our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. Unless that is what you desire. If our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. 
He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son, not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. After the storm. That's a lot of lore to just dump. Also, no surprise that Clive's mother is just power hungry. She's doing whatever it takes for her son and her image. From cloth, um, root of the problem, reading table, apple a day. Left from the yard, ran up a basket of martels just this morning, sweet as honey and crisp as the morning breeze they were. I told myself I was only going to have one, but I reckon if no one else listens to old Otto, I don't have to either. You let Nigel and his lot know they've done a fine job was a time you'd catch none but Sid supping up on these what for their foul bite. But for him, it never were about the flavor, but about what they represented. Our ability to make it on our own. Look at us now. Sid would be proud, Otto. Flame none brighter. My lord Marquess. Marquess? Marquess? Marquess, I believe. I ask once again for you to forgive my men for your welcome back at the Lazarus, but certainly you can understand that you were the last person any of us were expecting to see at our gates. In the short time since our reunion, you have shown yourself to be the self-same man I followed into Stillwind those many years ago, a true bearer of your father's legacy. If only Sir Tyler, the Lord Commander, and all the others who were lost that night were still with us to see how bright your flame now burns. To you and your cause, I hereby pledge the swords to the guardians, and I'm proud to stand alongside you once again, Wade. I like Wade. He's he's respectable for sure. 
All quiet in the Dominion. The Dalmex and the Imperials are at a standoff. They snarl at each other, fangs bare like slum curves, but neither wants to make the first move. It's almost as if they both realize was a stinking pile of chocobo shit they've stepped in. If I were a Mandalay wager, I'd put my copper on this conflict not playing out anytime soon. I should keep you appraised. Alright, I guess let's check on Jill then. Visit the infirmary. Yeah, we'll check on Jill and probably go from there because I, I doubt checking on Jill will throw Is us into another hearing, mission. Sid? Well, it's also weird that Clive still can't uh, control summoning Ifrit. I mean, he could semi-prime, but besides oh, that, man, there wasn't really much. Also, how many hunts are on the board now? Two. Secret, a Minotaur. Severian. Oh, the Fallen's, okay. Oh, as well as, uh, I still want to know how Joshua survived. I want to know that so badly. Especially because his journey is interesting. Where he's actually on a noble journey. Trying to rally together. And also, if he was all the way over there, I wonder who was the cloak figure that was with us on the island. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. <sighs> Understood. And thank you. <sighs> the curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Where are you? In here. What's wrong? Rosaria's under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang, Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith, trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid, but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, 
I'm not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I have lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. Dang. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Back to Rosalith then. Whatever has become of her. First he wrecked our home. Now he's wrecking yours. But he's not going to get away with it this time. Well, that's the new thing on the wall memories. Brocious Tackle, The Oath. Or tell apples. Ah, so nothing. Okay. Let's speak with Otto then. And that one says we should leave the hideout. We'll call her. Um. Back, are you? Let's What's see what new things he's got. Platinum sword plus one. Nice. Do I have a platinum sword? Apparently I do. Hmm. Anything else? I won't upgrade that yet. However. What do you need? Curiosity of dialogue here. About Drake's breath. Must have been hot fighting in the belly of that crag. Might be work for you as a smith when you hang up the old sword, but I'm betting that won't be for a while. I know how hard it can be. I know how hard it can be trying to fill another man's boots, but I reckon you've grown to Sid's nicely. He'd be proud. Oh, Back ain't that again. nice. Is it business or pleasure? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. And you do got a platinum sword. Me blind, you know. I'll buy it. Platinum belt. It'd better all be here. Yeah. Cannot find a better price than that. Let's go ahead and buy It'd that as well. Be, yeah. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Well, don't just and there dialogue you're... there about Drake's breath. Want a pat on the back, do you? Well, I suppose you deserve one. Just don't let go From to your head. From what I hear, you'd have been lost without Jill. To say nothing of yours truly. If it wasn't for me keeping you fed and kitted out, you'd not. You'd neither of you have stood a ch chance. But fair is fair. You took the chance I gave you. Brought the whole bloody mountain down. Bet the iron blood couldn't the leave their eyes. Focus. The poor buggers will just have to find some else to worship. Of course, there's plenty of other folks in these these fair isles who still reckon those rocks are worth more than their weight in diamonds. So you keep doing what you're doing and show them how wrong they are. It's coin they want to put their faith in. As long as you keep coughing it up, my faith will stay with you. Try not to get yourself killed, eh? Of course. All right, now let's go talk about it. One day, I want to sail all the way to the shore. Surprised I can't jump over that. I keep forgetting until we get to like half hour Must portions of story on how story driven Don't worry. and cinematic oh, I wasn't Final expecting Fantasy you games are. Soon. Come to claim your just desserts. Uh, it used to be I would step into a tavern and only find myself overwhelmed with requests to sing of Diane the Bold or the Curl and the Serving Girl. But now all anyone wants to hear is Sid the Outlaw. You made me a very rich man, my friend. You earned this. All done? Nice. Um. How are you doing? Quick look. 
Always something in there. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosaleth. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Uh, of course, I had a feeling we'd be talking with her. So, we should get the scoop. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave... Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge... Uh... Can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense. A fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? Aye. 
I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. Ah, it boots us to world map. And we don't actually have to travel through the uh, places, okay. Rosalith. The long claimed by the Empire, Rosalith Castle's towering ivory walls still serve as a reminder to all Rosarians of the Duchy's proud past. Yep, but there's still a couple quests here and two hunts. So, I'm going to end it here. Even though it's only a little over two and a half hours. Been yawning a bit. So it's definitely been affecting the recording. So, uh, on this recording here, I'll start back up in the Max morning since so it'll be the weekend it, tomorrow. Sorry. Try to get Take some more of this time. and, uh, probably try to get some Mortal Kombat in as well. If I get a nice stretch of Mortal Kombat, I could just chop that up and get the videos to you guys progressively through the week. We'll see how that all plays out. Till then, hope you guys are liking seeing some more Final Fantasy 16, and especially on the story. But, till next recording, take care, and have a great day.